We'd like to say thank you to our stupendous studio audience for joining us today on Delmarva Life. If you'd like to find out how you can become a member of our studio audience, visit DelmarvaLife.com, click on the Show tab, or you can call that number right there on your screen. It's 443-880-9116. You know, getting a diagnosis from a doctor can be it can be devastating, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes a diagnosis can actually be a relief, uh, especially if doctors have had trouble figuring out why you feel the way you feel. Yeah, and for one Salisbury woman, her symptoms indicated she had one thing, but test results were inconclusive. That's a frustrating situation, but she's found a way to deal with it by reaching out to others. Jen Patonic of Salisbury is very conscious about what she puts in her body. This shake is made of only fruits, vegetables, and almond milk. It's vegan. Jen adopted a vegan lifestyle in November, two years after being diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. One of the issues with having an autoimmune disorder is you look pretty good. Um, nobody believes it when I say I'm sick. Jen's symptoms, swollen, sore joints, and extreme fatigue led doctors to believe she had rheumatoid arthritis. That is, until blood tests came back negative for RA. So her doctor prescribed medication to treat Jen's symptoms, but for Jen, that was not enough. I don't like not having any control, and having a disorder like this takes that control away. So that's one of the reasons that I went vegan, is because I could have some control over some part of this illness. Jen also blogs about her illness. I felt the need to talk about this constantly, and the people in my life, my family and my friends, were really supportive, but after a while, they don't necessarily want to hear about it all the time, uh, which is one of the reasons that I started blogging, because that way there was a community of people who could talk about the same thing. By becoming a part of some communities, by developing communities of my own, it has been, it's just been a really neat experience. Um, there are people on the shore who follow me, there are people all over the country and frankly over the world who do. Sometimes they're the only person who's going to understand what you're going through is somebody else who's also going through it. Jen says what started as a way to vent about her autoimmune disorder has become a vital part of her treatment. There are a lot of different autoimmune disorders. Not everybody who follows my blog has RA. Crohn's disease, lupus, um, I'm trying to think, celiac disease, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that a lot of people who have what we call the invisible illnesses, the things that make you, you still look normal but you feel pretty bad. And it's nice to be able to talk about that with other people. You know, I just feel like I'm a regular person talking about what's going on in my life. Jen continues to travel to Baltimore to consult with her doctor. I've had to make some pretty big changes in my life. I work at a different school than where I worked before because I needed to reduce the stress a little bit. Um, I, you know, went into a different position. I feel like I've done pretty much everything I can do lifestyle-wise to, to make things better. Um, and I'm hoping that things continue to improve and, um, you know, that I just continue to feel better and that there are more and more options for everyone else who has autoimmune disorders too, because it's not just about me. And what an amazing woman. Jen teaches special needs children. She also has two children of her own, so she's a very busy mom to begin with. And if you would like to follow Jen's blog, you can find it on our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Click on the Show tab. Wow. Well, still to come on Delmarva Life, are you looking for entertainment, activity, and fun? Well, how about this? One location that has all of that and more, Brian Spiros takes us inside the Crown Sports Center in Fruitland. You might be amazed to see what they offer. Plus, the band Anything Goes is in the house this afternoon. Take us to the break, guys. It's been a long time since I came around. Been a long time, but I'm back in town. And this 